Hey, it's Bill Gross, the LA probate expert.com with this week's insights on the real estate market. Today, we're going to talk about something you're not going to hear a lot about in the press is really how the real estate market is really cooling down to a more normal market, not, not dropping, not falling apart, but really seems to be back to a more normal market. I'm going to show you the statistics uh, right now. That's not just my opinion. And I will say what, obviously, I'm an agent, very active in the business. And I, as a result of that, I have you know, transactions going on every single day, uh, and I have my own experience of the market, but this is gonna be the actual data to back up what we're talking about. So what am I talking about? So this is a summary of the data from August 2021, existing home sales provided by National Association, Association of Realtors. And you'll see that the rate of sales, the number of transactions, immediately after COVID dropped, and then right after that, two months afterwards, not only got back to where it was, but for the last year has exceeded the prior pace. We were chugging along at about a five and a half million sales a year pace. When COVID uh, hit right away, we dropped down as low as four million sales a year, one million less on an annualized basis. And then we captured it back back in 2020 in August, and it exceeded that as high as six and a half million home sales a year pace, that's tremendous. And we've, but we've settled back down to 5.88. Now think about it. Why would home sales that were somewhat flat for years at five and a half million be now higher than it was before? Well, the only explanation would be in addition to the normal population growth, would be more people want to move because of COVID than before. Well, how many more? Maybe on an annual basis, three or 400,000, not a million. So maybe we settled into a 5.8 million, but look at the last two months, it's actually gone down in July and August. So maybe that phenomenon is slowing down, maybe those people who moved have moved. I don't know the answer, but the data is suggesting that hyper desire to move that happened right after COVID kind of uh, hit and was, was recovered a bit, that recovery is certainly slowing down. Let's look a little deeper. The median price of existing home sales has come down also over the last two months. That's not happened in a while. So we had a price steadily increasing. Of course, with inflation, we'd expect prices to go up a little bit year over year, 2%, 3%, but we far exceeded that. But in the last two months, it's cooled down. Let's take a look at the annualized numbers. So over the prior 12 months, it had been going up about 11% a year, 14, 15, 14%. And then with COVID, it jumped up to 18 and 23 0.6% a year over the prior one year. But in the last two months, it's again come down. And notice the pattern. All the statistics show in the last two months, things have reverted back closer to normal. Now, look at the total sales percentage change month over month, I'm sorry, year over year. The total sales has been down in August and only slightly up in July or flat over the last two months. So what it tells us is the sales rate has about hit where it needs to be. We're not seeing the big increase. We're not seeing a tremendous drop either. So right now we're somewhat at an equilibrium. And here's the most important statistic, I think. The realtor um, uh, are reporting about a third of their home buyers are first-time buyers, a little bit more than before, maybe 10% more first-time home buyers. That tells you that home buyers are now, the first-time buyers can compete because maybe investors aren't as aggressive. And, and let's take a look. Sales to investors, very slightly down, but cash sales down, and those two numbers combined are telling you that the first time buyer has somewhat replaced a bit of the investors and cash buyers. So we know that normally means a more normalized retail market than the frenzy that we saw going into things. And here's the cause I think of it, or the main factor, days on market. So it had been 17 days on market and now we're up to 22 days on market currently. So in a year, the amount of time it takes a property to sell has gone up by about a week five days, let's say. So what does that mean? Well, as a real estate agent, I can tell you, when a home's on the market for three weeks, usually something's wrong with the price. The real estate press mistakenly says normal inventory is three to six months. Not true anymore. That was true in 1970, 1980. Back when stores had to stock multiple copies of books, multiple copies of certain things in the, in the retail stores. Nowadays, they have one or two of anything to have more selection and replenish almost overnight. And to some degree, the real estate markets move the same way. In the old days, when we got a real estate listing book as a realtor every two weeks, houses would stay in the market three months.
But now when customers and agents get notified instantly, instantly of new sales, new properties in the market, why would it have to stay in the market for more than a two to three weeks? It takes a week or so, maybe 10 days to get buyers in an open house and get the photos up and published and out and such. Longer than that, the market set the property's price too high. So a factor of 22 to me is the higher rent of a normal market tells me we're at a more normal, healthy market. And that's the key. Now, obviously, if these numbers continue to decline and get worse, we have a different story. But right now, based on the numbers I'm seeing, the sales have evened out. The days on market have come to a more normal, relaxed market. And now, now here's the thing to remember, though. These are the numbers nationwide. This does not affect your house in your neighborhood, not even your city or state necessarily. These are nationalized markets. It's important to know your particular property, where you're selling or where you're buying. And that's what important when an agent comes to play is to help you analyze the data and create the best plan to get what you want. So now we know we have a normal market. What's this mean for you? Well, if you're thinking of buying, it might be a great time to buy. This is a chance, especially for a first time buyer to get in the market. The key though is make sure you get your rate locked in. Because if you're buying a house because of low rates, it makes no sense to close if you can't get that great low rate. And as a seller, this is the best time in my career for you to sell property and get the terms you want to make your move convenient. Whether you're buying another property or moving to another area, you have more time for rent backs and consideration to buy the next property than ever before. So if you're buying or selling, if I can help, give me a call, text me, email me, Bill Gross, the LA Probate Expert.com. Make this a powerful week.